The green poison has washed over Manhattan like a tidal wave of chaos and destruction. When the authorities started to lose control and lawlessness slowly snuck into the city, certain factions started to rise to power. The JTF or Joint Task Force were formed to counter the rise of rioters, rikers, cleaners, last man battalion and eventually rogue agents and hunters. It's seven months later and we're moving 410 kilometers down the coast to the capital of the United States, Washington DC. When the pandemic broke out, chaos and panic spread across the city. In an attempt to control the spreading of the virus, the JTF established a quarantine zone on Roosevelt Island. Colonel Antoine Ridgway, a JTF officer, was given the responsibility to administer the quarantine zone and ensure that everything ran smoothly. Starting to lose faith in the JTF's ability... Wait, where have I heard this before? Can't believe the bullshit that went down in the dark zone at the end there. I know. We had it. Everything I told them was dead on, they made us pull out anyway. And we left our dead behind. Yeah, we're not supposed to do that. Hang on a second. Look, we don't leave people behind. We're here to make sure this city doesn't get left behind. But the people we're working with, this is fine. We're leaving all of us behind if it's convenient. Look, I don't agree with every decision that's been made, but... I am saying it's time to leave them behind. Their model doesn't work anymore. If we're smart, we cut it loose before it drags us down. Before it kills us. You're talking treason. I'm talking common sense. Look around. There's nothing left to say. The JTF is trying to save a Manhattan that doesn't exist anymore. It is all about power now. Power and survival. They are done, but I am not. And you won't be either. Not if you work with me. Whatever. Ridgeway quickly realized that there was no way they were all going to survive and they decided to take matter into his own hands. This sparked the flame that would later be the creation of the Truth Sons. The True Sons weren't established overnight. Ridgeway ordered his men to lock down the quarantine, starting to redirect resources coming into the quarantine, letting his people starve to death and withholding medicine. Due to the chaotic state of the city, he was able to abuse his authority for a long time, before the commander of the JTF found out and he was imprisoned. But the loyal members of his unit freed him quickly after. His imprisonment filled him with rage towards the JTF and the federal government. As soon as he got out, he gathered his men, captured the JTF officers that had imprisoned him and held a symbolic tribunal only to execute them all moments later. The True Sons were born that night. Officially described as a former JTF unit turned paramilitary group, they are radical mutineers and trained criminals determined to eliminate all enemies and rifles in their pursuit of domination. They're known for their brutal discipline and complete apathy. They are highly coordinated and a dangerous faction. According to them, America was founded through bloodshed and through bloodshed a new society will rise. Whatever it takes, the true sons will be on the top of the food chain. With the survival of the fittest mindset and their access to military weapons, equipment and expertise, the True Sons are the top dogs in Washington DC and they use this power to create a paramilitary dictatorship. They are very combat competent using strategy and tactics. Their behavior will change depending on the situation. Their confidence will decrease and they will be more desperate as their numbers dwindle, leading them to abandon any strategy and rushing to take you down. A True Sons unit can consist of 10 different archetypes, of which we know 5. Each archetype has a special ability that can be exploited as a weak point. The medic can use shock pads to revive allies and shock enemies, but these can be destroyed to shock him and everyone around him resulting in the loss of his abilities. The juggernaut, or heavy, uses heavy armor allowing him to sponge bullets and negate the use of cover. His armor does have certain weak points which can stun him, giving you time to take him down. The crowd controller, I'm not sure if that's the real name, can use a foam gun to trap his enemies. This has to be shot by allies to be destroyed or it wears out over time. However, when shooting the tanks on his back, he's trapped by his own quote-unquote medicine. 
The scout is a sniper that attacks from a distance but is very hard to spot due to his position being horizontal more often than not. It's true, he likes to put his dick in the dirt and it makes him a hard target. I'm unsure what his actual weak point is, but even players can't prone. I'm not sure if the next one is an actual archetype, but I think I saw a Grenadier. It's a rifleman that has an underbarrel grenade launcher on his M4, allowing him to use explosives to smoke you out of cover. If this bears any resemblance to the first game, he's bound to have some explosive packs to blow up. Other than these five, I haven't seen any other archetypes in the trailers and gameplay. If I'm to guess, I think we'll see a variant on the combat engineers and rushers. We'll have to wait for that to be revealed though. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this content. If you made it this far, consider leaving a rating, good or bad. It provides feedback to us and helps showing up in the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below, what do you think about the True Sons? Do you agree with Colonel Ridgeway or don't you? And what archetypes would you like to see added to the faction? Before ending the video, here's a quick Patreon message. I'm designing blueprints for the builds and weapons as well as intelligence annexes for the different characters and factions in Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. For those interested, you can check out my Patreon as I will upload this content over there. It's an extra service for those who are willing to support us monetarily. The specifics can be found on Patreon. That'll do it. Have a good day. Peace out.